the sleeve head wadden, we're going to start at the front pitch and we're going to sew it around to approximately the back pitch. So how I do this is I start at the front pitch. So I take this one here, so I want the canvas uh, inside the armhole. So this is going to be next to the seam. I'm going to set that in there like that. I'm going to start at this. I'm going to start at the front pitch. I'm going to sew it around until I go past the back pitch. So we're just going to sew it around to where it stops. And then what I'll do is I'll mark that on the coat. And that's where we're going to, wherever this one stops is where the opposite side is going to start. There we have two nice sleeve heads to our, on our coat. The last step then is to get the, sew the whole thing all the way around. I'm going to, again, I'm going to use the machine. I'm just going to sew it all around. It's going to give me a nice pop to my, uh, to my sleeve heads having this really tight. And then give it a nice roll. You can do it by hand, but like just for the sort of sleeve head I'm going for, I think if I get this nice and tightly sewn with the machine, it's going to give me a little bit more pop on the uh, on my uh, sleeve head. First thing you could probably notice is there's this deviation here and here on the sleeve, and that just means there's probably just a little bit too much crown in the sleeve, and it's not really sitting very well. So what we're going to do is. You can pin it out if you wanted to, but we're just going to take a little bit off the top of the sleeve there and uh, to improve the overall look of, uh, of the sleeves. Um, you know, on the plus side of it, the balance of the jacket is nice, you know, the balance at the front and the, and the back. Uh, it's sitting nicely up at the back of the neck. Uh, our sleeve lengths look good. The sleeve pitch looks good. How the, where the sleeve is hitting the jacket. You want to take your chalk and mark uh, the sleeve onto the pocket there. So, you know, if you don't want to get into too heavy and alterations and that, you know, you might think of just leaving it this and, you know, wearing it and enjoying it. But if you want to take it to the next step, you know, these are the alterations that are required. So we took the, you know, if you remember from uh, the last test, we've taken the sleeve out uh, for the fitting, uh, or after the fitting, because we need to make adjustments to it. Now we've based it back in again. So what I want to do is come around with the iron and press away the fullness before taking it over the machine and sewing in the sleeve permanently. Now I don't want all this canvas in here. So I need to want it wider than the uh, sleeve head wadding. So I'm going to trim it to this about wait, three quarters of an inch long. Okay, so there's a little bit of cloth exposed all along this edge until you get up to where the uh, where the tack is. Um, just keeping the vent closed, which is just at the next stitch here. That's so now what I want to do. I want it, the the lining cover the uh, cloth completely. So I'm stitching it here. There's no cloth to be seen. I'm just going deep enough just to pick up the lining. So you measure in an inch and three eighths from the end of the cuff. So you mark each of them five eighths of an inch long. Sorry, five inch, five inch, five eighths of an inch between. And then five eighths back from the edge. And then five eighths long. And whip them together. This all is going to help pull the stitches together. And just whip pull the bottom hole together so you can help improve the look of the bottom hole. You can see those little white bits there and the little the white specks on it. That's actually wax. So I think it's not anything other than that. And just press that, that'll disappear. But then just to finish off your bottom hole, get your pencil 
in behind it here. Yeah, and then stick it through it, and that'll help improve the shape of the eye and the shape of the hole and everything else. But all in all, that's a pretty good button hole, and I'm happy with that. The view is we put the knot on the end of our thread and we go straight through from top to bottom, and that hides your knot uh, on the top. Then you take your needle and you come where, the, where it's come out underneath and you come just beside it, just to, just to one side of it there, pierce it through again and then check on this side here to make sure that the, the threads don't knot or anything, that, that they're just pulled through the hole. Now then you take your button and I like to have the, the uh, do a two hole button with the eyes uh, perpendicular to the edge. Through one eye hole, through the other eye hole. Alright, okay, so we're going to come down here about uh, about a half inch from the, the the pocket mount. You can put it wherever you want. You can stick it over here, then there, you can stick it over here, here, wherever you want to put it. And um, I'm just going to set it right there. the label on and we'll just take the basting stitch out and have the label in place. There we go. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen. That's how you make a ladies jacket. Just a Last few things to finish it off is we got see there's got these little threads left in the uh, buttonhole to take those out. Our commitment here at the HTA remains the same that we plan to produce a video series and uh, to cover any and every style of uh, bespoke garment. If you have any suggestions, we would love to hear from you. Uh, if you go on to our website www.handcrafttailor.com, uh, you will find a link to our forum, which you can you know join and share your experiences, and also our blog is on there as well for you know any latest announcements or any extra extra information you can find on our blog. That's all we have time for in this series. Thank you for watching.